Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, ha, Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, we have, we have, ha, ha, we have, we have, Jesus, hallelujah, yes, hallelujah, you have won yes, the Lord. big sovereign. Yes, Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 You have won. Hallelujah. Had in the building, huh? Oh, it's falling in the building, huh? Oh, that could not hold. Hold you down. Huh? Oh, God, I thank you. Huh? You are the risen. Hallelujah. Yes, you're the risen king. Hallelujah. The risen king. Hallelujah. Seated Hallelujah. in majesty, huh? Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you did it ha, all for me. How oh, can I say that one more time? Oh, yes. Death could not hold you down. Ha. Oh, yes. You are the risen king. Ha. Yes. Seated in majesty. He Hallelujah. Can we lift our hands in the building? Glory, glory, glory. And stand on our feet. Uh, yes. And let's just worship a great God. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worship. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's so worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He is the risen king. He is the risen king. He is the risen king. Hallelujah. Death could not hold him down. Hallelujah. Tell me. Hallelujah. Who can? Hallelujah. Stand be for us. Hallelujah. When we, hallelujah, call on that great name. His name is Jesus. Come on, somebody call on him. His name is Jesus. Call on him. Jesus. His name is Jesus. Call on him. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Glory yeah. be to God. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Come on. Take a few minutes. Come on. Come on. He's worthy. Come on. He's worthy. Come on. Lift your hands. Open your mouth. Begin to tell him something good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's so worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Oh, glory to your name, Father. Glory to your name, Father. We lift you up this morning. We lift you up this morning. We say thank you to you, Jesus. Because we realize you didn't have to do it, but you did. So we say thank you on today. We lift you up on today. We say hallelujah. We say praises. What is the highest praise? 
What is the highest praise? What is the highest praise? Somebody say hallelujah. Come on, somebody say hallelujah. Social media say hallelujah. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. There's a sound in the building. There's a sweet sound in the building. Hallelujah. Come on and worship him. Come on and worship him. Come on and worship him. Come on to the to him. Hallelujah. Bow to him. 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 Come on. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Let's take our worship to another level. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I dare you to call on him. I dare you to call on him. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mm, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Somebody call on him. Somebody call on him. Somebody call on him. Somebody call on him. If you want to see change, call on his name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, at the name of Jesus, demons begin to tremble. At the name of Jesus, hallelujah, things begin to happen. Somebody call on him. Somebody call on him. Somebody call on him. His name is Jesus. This is where things are broken. This is the atmosphere where curses are broken. This is the atmosphere where someone can be saved. Somebody call on them. Somebody call on them. 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 Jesus. 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 No other name I know. Jesus. 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 No other name I know. Jesus. Call on him. Call on him. Who saved my grandmother? Jesus. Who saved my grandfather? Jesus. Who saved auntie and uncle? Jesus. Who saved my family? Jesus. Who can save you now? Jesus. 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on. God is trying to do something. He's trying to set somebody free. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. This is warfare. Hallelujah. Somebody's life is being changed. Hallelujah. Somebody's soul is being saved. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Oh. 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 
Glory. Hallelujah. He's worthy of all this and then some. He's worthy. Hallelujah. You can't tell me you don't feel much better right now. Hallelujah. That sometimes you just got to get some things off your chest. Hallelujah. I had that sitting right here. I just had to get it off. Hallelujah. Because the enemy been trying me. Hallelujah. And I had to let him know that he had lost again. Hallelujah. I still got my praise. I still got my worship. I still got a hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. There's some people that left us, some people that passed away, even on this week. But I still got a hallelujah in my spirit. I still got to thank you, Jesus, in my spirit. Oh. Praise team song and song said, Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Hallelujah. You have got the victory. Thank you, Jesus. Then it said, Death did not hold you down. Oh, glory. You are the risen king, seated in majesty. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Who wouldn't praise a God like that? Hallelujah. Come on and give him one more praise. Tell me who can stand before us when we call on that great name his name is Jesus hallelujah Jesus precious Jesus and because of his name Jesus we have the victory come on if you got victory on today Come on, hallelujah. Send the hearts up. Send the thumbs up. Send the praise up. Send it up. Send it up. If you claim in victory, claim victory. Send up praise. When you send it up praise and you haven't gotten the victory yet, you're claiming it. Hallelujah. Go ahead and claim your victory. Go ahead and claim it. Go ahead and claim it. Life is too short. Hallelujah for me not to praise God. Hallelujah. Life is too short. We normally say life is too short for me to stress about anything. Life is too short for me to be arguing back and forth about anything. But I want to say life is too short for me not to take an opportunity to give him praise. Life is too short for me not to worship him. Life is too short. For me not to get on my knees and pray to God. Life is too short. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. You never know what's ahead of you. You never know what God has planned for you. You never know what life has planned for you. That's why while you got the activities of your limbs, you need to give God praise. Thank you, Jesus. I took my son to the barbershop. It was a barbershop that we haven't been to in a long time. And uh, his barber was there. And I noticed as he was cutting his hair, he was just babying his left side. I noticed when he would walk, he he had a little limp. But I said to him, I said, you all right? You okay? He said, yeah. I said, why? I said, because I noticed your baby in your leg, your left, your left side, not knowing because he had on pants. He said, yeah, I'm okay. He said, I, they had to amputate my leg. 
He went to the doctor for one thing and they diagnosed him for something else that wasn't what it was and they treated him for that, ending up infecting the whole bottom part of his leg. Hallelujah. So they amputated his leg. But his spirit was so high that he said, that ain't going to stop me. Hallelujah. He said, I'm still going to do what I've been doing. He said, Yo, he said, Jeff, I still ride my motorcycle. Hallelujah. He said, I still go to the gym and work out. Hallelujah. His spirit was so high. I said, man, you are a walking, living testimony just on your perception of what you're going through. No, you're not letting what you're going through stop you. Hallelujah. He could have easily had a pity party. He didn't know that down the road when we last, from when we last saw him that he was going to have one leg. Hallelujah. You don't know what's ahead of you, so why you got your two hands? Praise God. Why you got your two feet? Praise God. Hallelujah. Why you got the breath of body in your, breath in your lungs? Open your mouth and scream a hallelujah. Because you don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. But while I can praise him right now, I will lift my voice, lift my hands, stomp around, jump around, and give God praise. So if I get to that point where I have to lose a limb, I can still use what I got left to give God praise. Hey! Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. You may not have all the activities that you used to have, but whatever you got left, you need to give God some praise. Hey! Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. I ain't even got to preach another word after that. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Somebody should want to run around the church right now. Somebody should want to run around their living room in circles. That little coffee table in the middle of your living room. Just run around it. Hallelujah. Give God praise in your living room. Ain't nothing like praising God for what he's already done. Because if I'm praising him for what he's already done, my praise is set me up for what he He's about to do. I don't know what you're waiting for God to do, but I guarantee you, if you begin to praise Him, pick Him up and put Him down, pick Him up and put Him down, I guarantee you, He will do it. Come on, somebody praise Him. Come on, give him some praise. Come on, he's been just that good. He's been just that good. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy of the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How many know there's power in praise? There's power in praise. Hallelujah. There's power in praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's power in praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy. Oh, glory. God is shifting me. Hallelujah. God is shifting me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's power in praise. There's power in praise. Thank you, Jesus. I know we already have the title on social media, but we're going to switch it. We're going to turn to Psalms 145. Psalms 145. Psalms 145. Thank you, Jesus. We'll do that next week. Hallelujah. We switch in. Hallelujah. There's a praise in the house, and we must talk about praise. Psalms 145. I will exalt thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. And his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous work and men shall speak of the mighty of thy terrible acts and I will declare thy greatness they shall abundantly utterly utter the memory of thy great goodness and shall sing of the of thy righteousness the Lord is gracious and full of compassion slow to anger and of great mercy the Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are all are over all his works all thy works shall praise thee O Lord and thy saints shall bless thee they shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of, of, of thy power to make known to the son of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and thy dominion endures throughout all generation. The Lord upholdeth all that fall and rises up all those that be bowed down. There's power and praise. Hallelujah. The eyes of all wait upon thee and thou givest them their meat in due season. Hallelujah. Praise is part of giving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thou opens thy hand and satisfy and satisfies and desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his work. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. Let your praise be truthful on today. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. It's through your praise I'll come to tell you your praise is powerful the Lord preserveth all them that love him but all the wicked will he destroy it's through your praise he will destroy your enemy that's why I come to tell you don't hold back your praise because there's some people that's working against you but if you praise God hallelujah he says right here he will destroy them my mouth 
shall speak the praise of the Lord and let all flesh look at somebody say all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever look at somebody say neighbor don't let your praise stop but let your praise ring forever hallelujah somebody give God praise hey whoa glory in this 145th psalm we see David giving reasons on why we should praise God. He is expressing to us that even when things around us may seem hopeless, we should still give God praise. Hallelujah. Take note of the title of this particular Psalms. It says David Psalms of Praise. It's David's very own praise. So there's nobody else better to give an account on this situation than David. Look at somebody say, you can't tell my story like I can tell my story. I'm going to give God praise. You may look at me like I'm crazy going out of my mind but you don't know how good God has been to me. Hallelujah! This is David's praise. Just as Psalms 86 is David's prayer. Notice the time of the psalm. It is rather mixed time in David's life. It's a mixture of trial, uh, of trust, and triumph. Notice the testimony of the psalms. David praises God for his fame or for his greatness from verse 1 through 6. Then he praises God for his goodness from verses 7 through 10. David praises God for his glory, hallelujah, in verses 11 through 13. Then he praises God for his government in verses 14 through 17. Then he praises God for his saving grace in verse 18 through 21. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I know I don't deserve to be here on today. So I'm, I'm taking glory in the verses from 18 to 21 for God's grace and mercy is why he woke me up this morning is why he started me on my way because he had grace on me he had mercy on me hallelujah in other words David is saying in every area of our life we should praise God the 145th Psalm cover every area hallelujah we should praise God for what he has done. We should praise him for what he is doing. We should praise him for what he will do. So anytime there's a praise in the building, anytime there's a high praise going on, we all should be joining in, whether we're here in the building or whether we are home watching on social media, in every area of our life, from the church to the house, from the church to the bus, from the church to the Uber, we should be praising God. Hallelujah. But in order to praise him like that, you have to, we, we, we have to uh, be able to praise him for who he is. In order for you to praise him for who he is, you must know who he is. When we praise him for who he is, no matter what is going on in your life, what it does, it brings you closer to him. Hallelujah. The songwriter says, praise is what I do. When I want to be close to you, that's because praise brings us closer to God. It brings us closer to his deity. Hallelujah. Psalm 104 says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter to his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Hallelujah. How many people ready to praise God on today? If you are faced with the situation that makes you feel like your ear is far from God, I dare you to strike up a praise. I dare you to strike up a praise. 
Some of y'all can attest to this. Uh, uh, when you was younger, we used to play church. We used to be in our room with our cousins or whatever, or in the backyard, wherever, playing church. And somewhere along the line of playing church, things got real. Hallelujah. Because you can't play church. Hallelujah. You thought you think you playing church. But something happens when you begin to praise God. You begin to really get feeling God. You begin, you begin to really shed a tear. I can remember one of my cousins. We was praising God. We was playing church. The next thing you know, he was crying like a baby. He said, what's wrong with you? He said, I don't know. Hallelujah. That's because he was praising God. And when you call out on the name of Jesus, things begin to happen you can't stay still no matter how much you try they ask me why do I move so much when I'm behind the altar because this is a powerful altar and all I know when I get behind the altar and feel the power of Jesus things begin to happen when I open my mouth souls be encouraged when I open my mouth and speak the word of God things begin to happen because there's power in the name of Jesus hallelujah if you're faced with the situation that makes you feel like you fall from his ear strike up a praise in verse 3 through 6 David wanted to praise him for who he is. Hallelujah. He said, great is the Lord. And he wanted to praise him for his persons, for who he is. Who is he? He is the Lord. And he is great. Hallelujah. Verse 4, he wanted to praise him for his power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He praised him for what he had done. He praised God for what he was doing. Praise God for what he's about to do in your life. When you don't know or not sure about how you're going to get through the next week. When you're not sure about how that doctor visit that's going to happen next week is going to go. When you're not sure what next month is looking like as far as paying your rent or your mortgage. I dare you to just walk around and start uttering praise. I dare you. I dare you. David praised God for giving us the precepts and the commands for the regulation of moral conduct. In other words, to act right. Hallelujah. For a righteous way of living. Because some of us just can't act right, Deke. Some of us just, just keep on doing the wrong thing. But if you can find somewhere within your soul, even though you're doing wrong, to know you're doing wrong, and begin to praise God, begin to live up his name and say Lord I want to do right but seem like I just can't get right but what you don't realize that God is waiting for the right moment to save you and to pick you up and turn you around so that you can be a living example that when people look at you and say I know when that boy can act right but now I look at him he's walking for God he's talking for God He's living for God. You can't tell me what praise won't do because I know there was a grandmother somewhere praying for me. I know there was somebody lifting up the name of Jesus saying, Lord, keep that boy. Hallelujah. I don't know who's praying for you, but I guarantee there's somebody somewhere Pray for you. That's why you're not sure how you got right here, right now, because you weren't thinking about God. You weren't thinking about God, but there was somebody. Hallelujah praying to God. They was crying out to Psalm 61 where it says hear my cry 
Hallelujah. Oh God, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. It says, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to that rock that's higher than I. Hallelujah. I want you to know today that this thing that we're going through, this thing that we're dealing with, is bigger than you and I. So why are we trying to fix it? Why are we trying to tri uh, trickle it? We're all we need to do is say oh Lord hear my cry from the end of the earth to the end of the earth from the beginning of the earth to the end of the earth and when my heart is overwhelmed lead me God direct me God place my feet on solid ground somebody if that's your testimony you need to begin to to lean and depend on God and say Lord lead me to the rock that's higher than I lead me to that place that's higher than where I am lead me to my destiny that's higher is higher draw me up to you God that's why he said if I be lifted up from the earth I'll draw all men unto me on today I want you to know the reason why there's a high praise in the building is because God is trying to pull you up out of the pit he's trying to pull you up out of that situation he's trying to pull you up out of that dilemma in the name of Jesus lead me pull me up Lord to that place that's higher than I look at somebody and say neighbor let's give God some praise The Lord is good to all and his tender mercy are over all his works. Verse 10 says, all thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. Hallelujah. The Lord redeemed people who have been filled with his spirit. His great goodness will retain the memory of that experience and allow that memory to channel them to a place of praise. Oh, glory be to God. The Lord, I'm going to say it again, redeemed people who have been filled with his spirit his great goodness will retain the memory look at somebody say memory of that experience and allow that memory to channel them to a place of praise a lot of times we spend more time trying to come out of a situation all because we can't remember but if you can remember how he brought you out before and then that will encourage your faith to know that surely he can do it again if your mind can 
go back to that place on how you felt when you was going through that particular situation and how at that moment you thought it was the end for you and at that moment you didn't know how you would come out and at that moment you was ready to give up it's at that moment if you can remember what you did to come out of that situation or what happened next after that thought all you got to do is remember this is where the saying comes from when I think oh glory be to God of the goodness oh glory of Jesus of Jesus hallelujah and all he has done for me my soul cries out Lord have mercy I want to rip this gown off my soul cries out I thank God what he's done for me I thank him for his goodness I thank him for his many fold blessings I thank him for not forgetting about me hallelujah all you got to do is remember remember look at somebody say remember 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 just as God did not forget about you remember what God has done for you remember when you didn't have two nickels to rub together remember hallelujah look at somebody say remember remember thank you Jesus remember thank you Jesus hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah hallelujah no matter what trouble may come your way all you have to do is call upon the name of Jesus hallelujah and he is ready with his grace hallelujah he is ready with his mercy hallelujah thank you Jesus glory be to God God grace is received when we call upon him in truth it's not until you being truthful it's not until you're being truthful, till you're really being cleansed in your heart and you're being truthful saying, God, I'm really tired of this. God, I'm really tired of this. I'm tired of going through this. I'm tired of living with this. I'm tired of doing this. I'm tired of breathing this. It's not until you be really truthful and really mean it. Hallelujah. God grace is received when we call upon him in truth. Thank you Jesus. We praise God for many reasons. From verse 1 through 20 in the 145th song they tells us david tells us to praise god for all these different reasons he said praise him in every aspect of your life praise him for who he is praise god for his goodness praise god for his greatness praise god for his glory Hallelujah. Praise God for his government. Hallelujah. Even though we may not like so much that's going on in our world today with the government, you still got to praise God. Hallelujah. You still got to give charge, God charge over the government. Hallelujah. You got to pray for our government. You got to pray that God will jump in there and lead and guide them and weed out all the bad. And then in verse 21, I'm waiting. Verse 21 tells us what is the truth. Hallelujah. When he says, my mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord. There's power in the tongue. Hallelujah. And let all flesh, look at somebody say all flesh. 
Hallelujah. All flesh. Hallelujah. Look at somebody say it again. All flesh. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Forever and ever. How long? Forever. That means don't let your praise stop. He says all flesh. Because as long as we are in this fleshly body, there will be struggles. But as long as we remember what he has already done and stay true to who he is, we will overcome the fleshly day-to-day -day battles. You will overcome the day-to-day -day trials, the day-to-day -day situations, the phone call to phone call situations, that every time your phone rings, it seems like it's another situation. He said in Psalm 34, David says, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth forever and ever. I will always have a praise in my mouth. So that means when I wake up in the morning, I will bless the Lord at all times. As I go through my day, I will bless the Lord at all times. At dinner time, I will bless the Lord at all times. In my glory be to God, in my downtime, I will praise the Lord at all times. Why? Because he is God. He is king. He is great. Because he is gracious. Because he is full of compassion. Because he is merciful. I will bless the Lord at all times. He is great and mighty. I will bless the Lord at all times. Because he he woke me up, started me on my way. He put the breath in my lungs. He allowed me to go to work, to go to school, to go about my business. He allowed me to come back. Hallelujah. The same way I left, I will bless the Lord at all times. Guess what? Even though I'm going through, I still will bless the Lord. Guess what? I will bless him because I know in my mind he may not come when I want him, but he's always right on time. And because he's right on time, I'll give him a right on time praise. I'll give him a right on time worship. I will bless the Lord because there's power in my praise. Look at somebody and tell them, praise set me free. Praise saved my life. It was praise. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. I don't care what it looks like. You ought to declare it. Hallelujah. I've got the victory. I've got the victory. I know what the doctor said, but I got the victory. I know what my bank account look like. I got the victory. I know things ain't lining up the way I thought they would, but I got the victory. I may not have crossed every T and dotted every I, but I still got the victory. I don't know about you. You ought to give God praise if you know within yourself that you got the victory. You got the victory. When you proclaim it, you proclaim the devil to be a liar. When you say, I got the victory. I, 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 I got the victory. I, 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 
I shall live and not die because I got the victory. Last week, break the code of silence. You break the code of silence with your praise. Hallelujah. You have to open your mouth and tell them something. Hallelujah. There was a saying that said, closed mouths don't get fed. Can't put nothing in your mouth if your mouth is closed. So you ought to take every opportunity, hallelujah, that you can to bless the Lord at all times and allow his praises to continually be in your mouth. I'm not saying that you got to act all crazy with your praise like I do. But there ought to be a praise in your mouth. Your mouth should be moving. Your body should be moving. Because movement is a sign of life. When you're in a hospital and they come into your room if you're laying still, the first thing they do is touch you. See if they get a reaction out of you. And that's the way they know that you're alive. And it's the same thing when you come into God's house. When the presence of God come into the building, he touches you with his presence to see if he's going to get a reaction out of you. Hey! I can't understand how some of us can come to God's house and not move. But no worries. Because if you're in the same building I'm in, I'm going to praise God until you move. You can get bad at me all you want. But my praise is trying to save your life. Hallelujah. And that's the mindset we should all have because we don't know what the other person is going through so when we see someone not giving God praise don't join in with them and not give praise God praise also but begin to praise God for them hallelujah especially if you're friends with them and you know them and you know what they're going through Start praising God for them. Before you know it, we got a pulse. Hallelujah. We thought we had lost them, but we didn't lose them. Hallelujah. Praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Save my life. Hallelujah. Come on and give God some praise. Come on, give him some more praise. I don't know who needed to hear that on today. I don't know who needed to hear that sermon on today or who needed to hear that message. But God sent it today just for you. And if that's you on today, you need to begin to give God praise. You need to begin to tell God, thank you, hallelujah, for being encouraged on today. Hallelujah. The devil thought he had you. 
but God knows just what we need to hear when we need to hear it. Hallelujah. That's why we can't be so caught up in what we think we want to do. You got to be prepared. I told y'all that last week. When you following God, you got to be flexible. You got to be flexible. Be ye also ready is a true hallelujah statement when you walking with God. Be ye also ready when you walking with God. Some of the people in our ministry can let you know that we live to that. The pastor will call you in a minute. But, uh, you think you can uh, do X, Y, and Z? Glory be to God. Be ye also ready. Don't wait until you're being called upon to get ready. But get ready. Hallelujah. Start praying in your house more often. Put together a message. Especially if you're a deacon or a missionary or deaconess. Be ready at all times. You never know what might happen. And we're going to need you to get up here and take the mic. Forget about even being up here. What about in your daily walk? You might meet somebody on the train or the bus that just might just start talking to you out the clear blue. They might say, you know what, something about you. Can you pray for me? Well, what you going to do at that moment? You can't get nervous. You can't, you can't, you know, clam up. You got to begin to pray. Because the last thing you want to do is not pray. And you're going to feel bad all day. Hallelujah. So in every aspect of our life, we ought to praise God. Amen. In every aspect of our life, be ready. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I, I begin to, 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 to realize that just, just walking in praise makes you be ready. Just walking in praise because your mind is already into, into, intertwined with God. That if I'm already singing praises to God, I'm already talking to God, that when somebody walk up to me, I'm ready. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's because in every entity of my life, I praise God. Amen. That's how true deliverance comes. Because yes. if every aspect of your life you're praising God, there's no room for anything else. You come to realize that you don't need to pick up that cigarette. You don't need to pick up that bottle. You don't need to pick up that thing that's not good for you healthy-wise. You don't need those things anymore because you found praise to take the place of that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So on today, we want to pray that God will have his way in our life and that he will continue to watch over us. He'll continue to give us the motivation to keep praising him. That even though the news is constantly with bad news, hallelujah, that we can still praise God. Yeah. Things are happening in this world that have never happened. Yeah. And it's catching people off guard. Look what happened in Texas. Yeah. Hallelujah. You never know. People running away from New York to get the good weather and then bad weather follow them where the good weather is supposed to be. Be ye also ready. Hallelujah. So we want to pray that God will strengthen his people. That he will save someone that's not saved on today. Let us stand to our feet. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word, God. We thank you, God, for letting us know, God, that in every aspect of our life, from the beginning of the earth to the ending of the earth, that we ought to praise you, that we ought to lift you up. So no matter what comes our way, no matter what storm comes, what sickness comes, what attacks our uh, economic system, what attacks our personal life, we will be already in the mindset to praise you. And the praise will strengthen us to keep 
pushing Jesus. through it, to keep pushing through it, to keep pushing through it. No matter what the enemy is trying to do or tell us, we ought to keep pushing through it. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. For the activities of our limbs, God. We thank you, God, for our mouth that you have given us to give you praise. To give you honor, to give you glory. So on today, God, we want to pray for someone, God, on social media or here in the building that may not be saved. God, we pray that you will save them now, God. We pray, God, that you will condition their heart, God, to open up their heart and for them to open up their, put, oh, oh, uh, raise their hands up and cry out to you God and say Lord save me Lord save me I believe in you God I believe that you died for me I believe that you rose for me but I'm standing here today asking you to come into my life God lead and guide me save me God we pray for that individual right now God that you will strengthen them God that you will strengthen them God to hold on to them God to hold on to you God we come against the pressure even now we come against depression even now we come against depression even now God in the name of Jesus we bind depression up even now we come against suicidal thoughts we come against it in the name of Jesus devil you are a liar and we cast you to dry places where you don't have room Glory be to God. We thank you, God. In the name of Jesus. We come against the devil even now. In the name of Jesus. We will decree it again. We come against depression. We come against depression. We come against the devil even now. In the name of Jesus. You shall live. You shall live. Whomever you are, God is telling me to tell you now. You shall live and proclaim the goodness of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise will save your life. Begin to praise God in this prayer. Begin to worship God in this prayer. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. We praise you, God. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. In the name of Jesus, we declare victory. If you are in agreement with this prayer, begin to give God some praise. Begin to lift them up. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Come on, he's worthy. Lord, we bless you. Come on, he's worthy. Lord, we praise you. Come on, he's worthy. Come on, he's worthy. Hallelujah. Lift him up. Lift the Savior up. Lift the Savior up. Lift the Savior up. Come on, lift them up. Come on. Somebody, life depends on it. Come on. We've been in warfare all day. Come on, lift them up. He's worthy. He's worthy. God, we thank you. For there's power in praise. There's power in praise. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth if it's continually in your mouth give him praise now give him praise now give him praise for your family give him praise for your loved ones give him praise for your brothers Give a praise for your sister. Somebody give a praise. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. 
Thank God. Hallelujah. We thank God for the blood. We thank God for the blood. Hallelujah. Thank God for the covering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The covering of the blood. Hallelujah. The blood will keep you where you don't want to be kept. The blood. Look at somebody say the blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. It reaches. Hallelujah. To the highest. Hallelujah. The blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. Hallelujah. The blood, the blood, the blood. All the blood. The blood. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Fill the empty void, God. Fill the empty void, God. Fill the empty void. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. blood hallelujah he looked beyond all of my faults and he saw my needs hallelujah the blood the blood it's because of the blood thank you Jesus hallelujah can you come sing a little bit of that lady Campbell and it flows yes to the lowest valley oh the blood yes lord that gives me strength yes lord from death
strength Whoa, from death to death It will never lose its power Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you for the blood! Hallelujah! Oh God, I thank you for the blood that strengthens me. Hallelujah. Each and every day. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. And it flows to the Lord. To the Lord. Oh yes. Oh the blood. presence on today we thank God for what our hearts have felt what our spirit has experienced we thank God for once again a great Sunday morning worship service we thank God for his liberty that reigns over us that it doesn't allow us to keep God in a box that we can flow hallelujah and give God praise in every entity of our life. Let this service be a, a mantra on how we supposed to treat our God. To be ready to switch when he say switch. To go when he say go. To pray when he said pray. To praise when he said praise. We thank God for everything that's happened on today. We thank God for our youth coming forward. They've been coming forward every Sunday of this month of February, representing Black History Month. We thank God for them. Hallelujah that we have youth that in a pandemic, they're still in church. We are all social distancing. Hallelujah. I'm going to put that out there before somebody start talking and saying something crazy. Hallelujah. Amen. We got hand sanitizer stations all over the church. We are social distancing. So our children can still come and give God praise. There's so much to all the sayings that we have, and we must question ourselves, are we truly living up to the sayings? Train up a child in the way it should go. And when they get old, it shall never depart. Show your kids how you're supposed to worship God. Show your kids, your kids how you're supposed to push through adversity. And don't forget about God. Amen. So we thank God for our youth department. Amen. Constantly going on in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank God that even if we have to close because of a bad storm, our youth department, they have something set up called Google Class. 
something like that. What is it, Keisha? Google Meet, where they still have children's church. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We really believe. I believe the children are our future. Amen. Lead them back. Let them lead the way. Let them lead the way. Yeah, we really believe that. Show them all the beauty. Gotta it show them. That's, that's the problem that we have in a, a lot of our youth. They have no, no substance. That the minute something happened, they're ready to cut their life short. Hallelujah. We got to continue to pray for our youth because they are dealing with a lot. They are dealing with a lot. Just as we are dealing with a lot, they are dealing with a lot. I was looking at the <laughs> news and they were saying how a lot of kids are, are missing as far as school is concerned. We got to pray. We got to pray. We got to pray. Pray and praise. Pray and praise. Hallelujah. Pray and praise and expect. Hallelujah. That's the new PPE. Pray praise and expect God to do something. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God for what he's doing in our lives. We want to thank you all on social media because without you, none of this would be possible. We want to thank you for constantly sacrificing your time, sacrificing your, your money, and, and, just, and just continue supporting the Crossover Church. We thank you because without you, we could not keep going. And we want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. And yes, it's that time where we are opening up uh, t t a moment for you to sow seed into the ministry. Hallelujah. You know the avenues that we, <coughs> God has given us to set aside where even if you're not here, you can give electronically. We have our cash app, with it, which is Crossover BC358. Cash app is crossover BC358. And our Zelle account is uh, www. Is, is it that? Huh? Dot. What? Zelle. Zelle is crossover BC358 at yahoo.com. It should be on the screen. Even if I mess it up, y'all can see it on the screen. Amen. All right. Uh, cash app, the dollar sign, I believe they was telling me you got to say the dollar sign, crossover, BC358. Allow, allow God to lead you. Allow God to lead you. Allow God to lead you in your giving. Hallelujah. And God will bless you real good. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. We know that we're in a pandemic. We know that things are going on, but sometimes God will put you in a place where he is stretching you, he is stretching your faith to trust and believe him the more. That once you give unto God, guess what? God will give back unto you. You can't beat God giving. They've been saying it for years. They've been saying it for years because it's the truth. That every time you try, amen, something happens for you. I remember last week somebody was telling me, or the week before, they were telling me that uh, I put a plea out to the ministry to give a certain amount I forgot what it was and they was going back and forth in their head and they said they weren't going to give it then they said it was money they said then they wasn't and then something at the last minute told them to give it and they adhered to God's word and they gave it amen, amen. and then they, they, they before they got home they reaped a $600 blessing hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 amen hallelujah, yeah. hallelujah. That's how quick God can work. Amen. They called me before I think I just reached home and said, Pastor, let me just tell you, I wasn't going to give it. And I was about to just leave and catch my assessor ride outside. <laughs> Hallelujah. They said, but I decided to give it and God blessed me as soon as I got home. That's how you got to trust God. You got to give it and don't think about it. So allow God to lead you on today. Whatever he's put into your heart to give, don't question it. If he said give 100, give 100. If he said give 75, give 75, 50. Whatever he laid on your heart, allow him to do that. Especially if you have something laid before God that you need for him to do for you. Hallelujah. You got, you got, you got something impossible you want God to do for you. Give something impossible for you to give. Amen. 
When I say impossible, not that you don't have it, but that you have it and you know that it's your last or you know that you need it, you, you already ordained it for something else, trust God and watch God make a way. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we have the things on the, on, the, on the screen where you can give and Zelle and then, and then Cash App. Be a blessing on today and watch God bless you. Amen. Let us stand as we play, pray over the offering. Those of you that are here in the sanctuary, you can still give uh, electronically if you want, or if you want, you can come around to the table and give, in, give at the table our tithers. Let's please, let's please pray, pay our tithes through the same way, the, the electronic way, or you can come and give it if you are here. Amen. Let us all stand. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for those that will be given on today. We pray, God, that you would touch their hearts and mind, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that allow this seed that they are sowing, God, hallelujah, to go and do what you have assigned for it to do, God. We thank you right now, God. We pray that you will meet the needs of your people, God. We pray, God, that you will lift the burden, God, in the name of Jesus. Take away the lack, God. Oh, God, bless your tithers on today, God. Bless them for your faithfulness, God, in the name of Jesus. For you said in the word, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. We thank you right now, God. We praise you, God, for all, God, all, all, all that will be given on today. In Jesus' name, let somebody say amen. 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 Let's bring the table forward before we sign out. Dick, do you have any names you have to call out for, for offering? Dick, he said no. Okay, so we're going to hallelujah. Thank you, social media, once again for joining with us. We pray that something has been said or done to encourage your heart today to praise God in every aspect of your life. There's power and praise in Jesus' name. We thank you for joining with us. Don't forget Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. If not, be with, you, be with us back here on Sunday morning at 11. We thank you once again. Come on, let's give our social media praise as we sign out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Those that are here, you can face the wall on this side.